Hey guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic calendar table in Power BI. And guess what? I'm going to be using Power Query. So this is going to be really fun and let's do this. Real quick before we get started, there are three different ways to create calendar tables in Power BI. The first one is to reference a calendar table from the source. So that means that we already have a calendar table in the source. So that's the ideal scenario. The second method here is to use DAX, data analysis expressions, which is the programming language of the Power BI. And then the last method here is to use Power Query. And that's the reason for this tutorial, my friends. So this is actually quite straightforward. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to share with you these files as well so you can follow along. But real quick on the left, we have here the piece of code that we're going to be using to create this dynamic calendar table. And let's get started. The first thing you want to do here is go to Power BI Desktop, go to Get Data, and then hit Blank Query. Once you're there, so it's loading, the next step is to copy the piece of code that I share with you. So let's go over here. We need to create here two lists. So the first one is going to be the start date and then the next one is going to be the end date. So let's do this real quick. So we're going to select here start date for now. This is the piece of code that we want to use. Let's go over here again, control V, and then we can rename this list as well. So let's call this start date for now. And remember here, we need to update the table name. So the table name that we're going to be referencing here is the financial table. So we're going to be using here the date column from the financial table as a reference. Okay. So this is going to be date. And then remember here we are selecting the minimum year. Okay. So let's see what happens. So we are good to go. Now let's go back to the text file again. And here we need to work on the other list, the end date. Control C again, go back over here, and then right click, new query, blank query. Control V, and then here we're gonna do the same. Table name, this is gonna be financials again. And we are referencing here the date column from the financials table. So let's approve these changes. Perfect. And then we can also update this name. So this should be end date. Okay. The next step here, if we go back to the text file, is to create a table with the first two lists. So this is also quite straightforward. Let's go back to Power Query again. Right click, new query, then query. It's basically the same. Let's copy the piece of code that we have here. Go back to Power Query, Control V. There you go. We don't have to change anything here because it's referencing the start date and also the end date, the two lists that we just created. So we are good to go there. The next step here is to update the name here. Let's call this date or calendar table as well. And then the next step is to convert this list to a table. So let's do that. Check this out. So we are good here. Hit OK. We can also rename this column. Just date. And then change the data type here. This should be just date. Perfect. And now, as you can see, we are good to go. Let's go over here again, close and apply, and let's see what happens. It's thinking. Let's maximize this real quick and let's start playing with this, okay? So let's go over here and let's add, but before we start adding fields into these visuals, let's go over model view. So you can see here the dates table or calendar table that we just created and also we should find here the financials table. 
So this is the fact table. We can move this towards the right for now. And then once we are here, we can go back and link the calendar table with the financials table and let's see what happens. Awesome. So it's working perfectly fine. Let's go back to report. So we are good to go. So before we start playing with the visuals, I was forgetting something here. Okay, let's go back to the Power Query window. Once we are here, we can also add additional columns to the calendar table. So let's do this real quick. Check this out. Dates again, add column, and then here we can add year, for example. Perfect. And then we can keep adding more columns here. Month, I care about the name of the month. There you go. Let's keep going. So we can select quarter here as well if we want. So we are basically here in reaching this calendar table. And then for week, we can also select week of year if we want. And we can keep going here. And then for day, so let's select the name of the day for now. Boom. Now let's go back to home and approve these changes. Check this out. It's thinking. So now this is the time to keep playing with these visuals, okay? So let's go over this visual right here and then let's go over axis and let's add here date. Boom. Now you can see that this is working perfectly. Awesome, it's working. And then you can also keep adding more features for this slicer. So let's add year for now. Let's go over here, the calendar table, year. Boom, it's right there. And then you can keep playing with these filters as well. And you will see that the report is changing dynamically. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful as always. If so, please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything thank you guys for your time and see you in my next tutorial